Hello. Okay, I'm really hoping that everything's working here. I don't know. Can you guys let me know how the Sunshine Island music sounds in relation to my microphone? Uh, I don't know how it how it sounds, but yeah, this is uh, a first for me. Well, I mean, I used to live stream back in the day, but I haven't live streamed in a long, long time, and um, I definitely have never, um, I've never live streamed Sunshine Island. So, yeah, I don't know how this is gonna go, but we're here. I've been working really hard on all the graphics. Um, so f fingers crossed everything actually looks all right. Um, I set up, I've got the start and soon screen sorted, taking a break, ending scene. I've got the Sunshine Island scene as well, which we'll hop over to in a second. Hey Rui, hey Nelwish, 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 probably pronouncing that wrong. Mandy, hey, got the old uh, Moo Moo gang in here, good stuff. How's everyone doing though? It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's fun. I really, I used to love doing live streams back in the day when uh, I used to stream Clash of Clans. That was kind of the main game I streamed. I never actually live streamed Everdale. It wasn't really a live streaming game. Um, but yeah, let's jump on over uh, to the old Sunshine Island, I guess. Everything seems to be good. So I've just left this, this the exact same as the way I do for my typical recordings. Uh, hey Pink, how's it going? Um, so yeah, we're just gonna grind out. We're currently um, Everdale vibes. Yeah, I'm still rolling with all the Everdale graphics because honestly, the, the graphics for Everdale were just top tier. They, they're absolutely my favorite. Uh, so I always kind of just, yeah, rolled with them. Um, hopefully you guys don't get too annoyed with the clicking as well because when we're grinding wheat, there's a, uh, there's a considerable amount of clicking. I did actually consider hooking my iPad up to my computer because I've got that set up. I used to use that for Clash of Clans and I was kind of tempted to hook that up so you guys don't have to listen to the incessant clicking over and over again um, when I'm when I'm grinding out wheat. But, uh, wheat. but hey, all right, we'll grab the goat feed. Uh, let's get some cow feed going. Uh, I don't really need anything else here. I think we're, oh no, we can grab the milk, I guess. We get a daily challenge done, nice. All right, let's grab that. But yeah, uh, I can't remember on my last quest to level 50 video how I was actually looking. I can't remember what if I hit level 39 in that video or if I've hit that since the last video, but you'll see I'm kind of closing in now on level 40, which would be quite a big milestone for the quest to level 50 series. But the thing for me is, and funny he should pop up in chat right here we've got matt hey how's it going man um if we jump in here um ob i know for a fact <laughs> started on either the same day as me if not the day after i think you were kind of the exact same time as me um and he's he's level 47 so i've kind of been slacking a little bit um, let's see, how long have we been playing for? So I'm up to 138 days. That's how long I've been playing Sunshine Island for. And to be honest, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of slacking a little bit. I probably should have done more, um, I probably should have done a lot more levels than I have. Um, which is, yeah, I'm kind of regretting, like, I always used to hold off on doing stuff for, so I could do it in videos. Um, the th like stuff like this especially so you'll see right now I actually I can do quite a lot of upgrades because I was holding all this stuff to do in a video in fact if we jump on hang on oh magic look at that um, yeah if I jump on over here this is actually something I was gonna do in a video but I guess I can do it now um, but I've really been struggling with coffee cups I've actually been upgrading all my coffee breweries um, but I'm just gonna go ahead and do this now. Um, so we might as well just try and grab many. I think I'm only gonna be able to get it up to three. Yeah, I'm only gonna be able to get it up to three, so we're already short on pens and books again. But hopefully that's gonna give me just a little bit more coffee. Uh, cause yeah, I've, I've kind of been struggling. Uh, but we should be done, nearly done with carrots. Um, but yeah, how are you guys all getting on in the, um, in the guild tournament, we, I think, are currently sitting in third, I want to say. Yeah, so we're currently just chilling in third. And we've got uh, Le Vachette, 
is actually a team we played and beat before. Um, so yeah, it's uh, it's fun to, to face them again. They're a French team, so it's always really interesting because they always get so far ahead of us throughout the day. And then we've got our night team. We've got quite a lot of um, we've got quite a lot of members from kind of across the pond, over in America, Canada, etc. Some from Australia as well, who kind of hold up our night team, and we always kind of catch them back up. They've been pushing really, really hard, and so is this the Tiki Lounge, um, who are actually lower than us in the rankings. Um, oh, I was going to say they've got quite a lot of low members, and they do, but then they've got this one level 55 dude here, Morton, who's probably carrying the team pretty hard with uh, Jelly, who's at the top. But yeah, we're, we're hoping to kind of catch them up later in the week. We're going really hard. You'll see we're up to 123% for our um, boost, but we're doing all right. I don't think we're doing as quite as well as we did in the last one, um, but we usually, at the end of the week is when we really start to put a big shift in, I think. Usually we sit on about six to 7,000 guild tournament points uh, per carrot project, something like that by the end of it. I think we got up to a 300% boost last time, which we were really chuffed with. That's the best we've had. Um, but yeah, how many pens and book upgrades do you have? Well, I'm actually slacking quite a lot. You'll see I've only actually got 56 on the production section and I have 64 in the delivery section. So I've actually been slacking quite a lot on these. Um, I definitely probably <laughs> need to pull the finger out and actually do some serious work over here. Uh, but again, that's because there was like a period of two weeks where I don't think I completed a single ship, plane or marketplace order. That was in preparation to do, um, that was in preparation to do the um, challenge video I did, the one where I did the, the 24 hour challenge trying to, trying to get to number one in the player tournament. If you guys didn't see that video, it was a bit of a fail of a video, to be honest. I was really hoping to be able to push up to that number one spot, and then uh, we we kind of we kind of yeah, I came up against some pretty tough players, uh, who I think one of them actually is Rui 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 Pantino. Uh, yeah, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. Sorry, but yeah, he was actually the one who finished top. I don't think I'll be able to find it in my mail now, but you the guild in first is the best guild. I am in. Oh, Nawaz, you are in Tiki Lounge, nice. Yeah, we're, we're looking forward to the challenge. We always start off slow, but then poof, we'll make a comeback. We'll definitely make a comeback. Noob challenge, I agree. I agree, it was bad, but I've got plans for kind of other challenges we'll potentially do uh, in the future. One of which, I'm, I don't know if I'll record at the next player tournament, but I want to challenge myself to only do marketplace orders for the player tournament week. So rather than doing ships and rather than doing planes, I'll only do marketplace orders. That's something I'm I'm kind of playing around with. I'm not sure how it'll do as a video. I don't know if it'll look good, if it'll do bad, I, I don't know. But I'm kind of tempted to give it a go. Um, although come the end of the week, I'll probably regret setting myself a stupid challenge like that. I'll be cursing myself as to why um, <laughs> I set that challenge out. but. Yeah, we'll just uh, we'll just go with it, I guess. But if you guys have any uh, challenge ideas, I definitely love to hear it. I'm always open to challenges. Um, I love doing stuff like that, and it's always difficult in games like this to do challenges. Um, but yeah, imagine Ob can't even spell my name right. Jeez. But yeah, so my coffee breweries over here. I'm not going to collect in case we do a, call, a round of CC um, soon, but this one right here, which is it going to select? Yep. Is the only one I haven't upgraded to level four yet. So that is going to be my next upgrade. Need to try and get a few more hammers in order to do that. I'm tempted to potentially try and push them up another level on top of this, but it is starting to get super, super expensive. So I'm not 100% sure if I will do that. Um, my fields, I recently got them all up to level five, which for you more experienced players, you're probably like, yeah, level five, psh, rookie numbers. But I was really happy with getting them all up to level five. I've definitely noticed a significant difference. 
um, when it comes to grinding out wheat like we're doing at the moment. Um, I did have a uh, rune running uh, over here. I had this rune running, the fields one, which is actually just finished. But this definitely has been making a good difference, the 10% boost to the fields. I actually have two more of these, so I'm probably going to pop one of them for the last two days of the guild tournament. Just to try and help out the team as much as possible. But I've been grinding wheat pretty hard the last couple of days. Uh, I was It was my day off on Monday from work. And I think I just pretty much sat the entire day and grinded out wheat. Which was fun. Uh, I don't know if you guys love grinding out wheat, but I, I absolutely love it. But yeah, um, I definitely am looking forward to the fishing update. If you guys haven't already checked out that video, I would definitely recommend doing so. Um, it was a really tough video to record actually because uh, Lily, the community manager, sent me all the information and sent me all the video footage, all the images, everything that I needed for the video. But it meant that I wasn't actually playing the game myself. All the video footage you saw was Lily actually playing the game on their developer build or whatever it is. And um, it meant I had to kind of match my audio to her video footage, which was kind of tough. But if you guys didn't notice already, they've actually kind of already set out fishing in the game. You'll see they've got all the kind of... What are, they, what are these called? Bo boys? Buoys? But what, what? Yeah, I can't remember what these are called. I'm, I've probably just butchered it. Um, when is it going live? Hey, Artemis, we're we're live. We're live right now. <laughs> How's it going, man? Um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to fishing. It's definitely going to be good. Um, it's starting off fairly. Oh my God. This is one thing that does my head, and I don't know if any of you guys play on PC, but I use my mouse wheel to zoom in and out. I think that's the only um, way to zoom in and out. I don't know any other method, but it's so... Oh, it's it's so annoying. The zooming in and out on PC, it, it absolutely drives me mad because sometimes you just get... Not booties. Hey, I didn't call it booties. I called it... I think it's like bo buoys? Buoys or something like that. Oh, when's the fishing update coming out? Well, uh, now I can't remember if Lily announced this publicly or if she told me. So if she announced this publicly, I'm safe. But I'm pretty sure it's next Monday. But if I've just said that and she sent it to me in the DMs, well, we had a good run, guys. <laughs> I guess I'll not be making any sneak peek videos if that's the case. Um, level five fields is pretty good. Um, nice Mandy. Yeah, I'm I'm really tempted to try and push all my fields also to level 6 because what would that cost? They're actually not bad. That's not bad at all. Um, 220, yeah. This, do you know what? Level 6 fields actually, that's potentially something I could do soon. But the thing is for me, I want to, up, I want to try and upgrade this stuff um that i'm struggling with and right now coffee is something i'm just constantly struggling with coffee because the breakfasts obviously take uh up coffee and the bar over here also takes up coffee and i just find it just eats it up or drinks it up so quickly that i just can't keep up and also the guild tournament is a really bad time to try and um build up supply because i hold my coffee for when we're running a coffee project so yeah it kind of yeah um oh thank god lily did say it publicly we're, we're all good boys we're safe we're all safe um it's pronounced boys oh, okay but i think pronouncing it buoy is much better you, you know what the buoys I, th I just think that's a better way of uh, pronouncing it can I watch your library, Alden? You want to look at my library? You can look at my library, but these are this is this is a rookie library. You probably want to look at someone who's got a much better library than me. Um, if you want to know the best methods for library, I would probably say go and watch my library guide video. It, it's probably decent. I, I mean, I don't know. I'm I'm no expert in this game. I just I just. 
yeah, do it random. Um, but my main focus was the delivery section. Now, I did these two upgrades up here way too early, and I definitely should have ignored them. My advice to new players and players who are coming in is definitely just focus on, you can probably ignore the XP bonus actually for Marketplace, focus on trying to push to these two right here. The books bonus and the pens bonus. Oh, wait, hang on. We're in the, li we're in the library, so we've got to use this face cam section. These two right here are so important. Get to those super fast and then probably come back, complete the nails and hammers next and then do your shovels and deeds. That would probably be my um, advice when it comes to the library. Now, I'm really tempted to try and push to the next uh, section where I can get more marketplace orders and just have like the best uh, go to overview. Oh. Yeah, that would be, make sense. Okay, I'm just gonna scroll through everything. Here's what I got. Hell yeah. Okay, hope you guys saw that and we're off. Okay, um, what are you guys saying? Oh, we can hop back over here. Get my population up. What are you talking about? Insane population, look at this. We got six population over here. Don't need much more, but the thing is, I've actually got level three house, which is dirt cheap to upgrade. So I can pretty much get loads of population through that house whenever I need it. So I'm not too stressed really about population at the moment uh, on Haven. Now I know on Jade, I think I'm currently sitting on zero population on Jade, but I do actually have a house that has been upgraded. I just haven't clicked on it yet. So you'll see I've got this house right here that has been upgraded, but I'm not claimed it yet, which means it doesn't take the happiness off, which is actually a cool little tip if you guys didn't know that. I'm saving this for when I need the population um but i don't really need it right now i'm not planning on any upgrades over here just yet so i'm just holding on to that building until i need it this is where i'm probably going to need the population next i do have one house up to level five the other is at level four but this is quite an expensive upgrade so i'm probably going to have to save up to do this at some point soon because my next expansion is going to be over here on tropicalis that's where i'm planning on uh, expanding next because I've probably built too many plantations. Um, I did this fairly early on and I leveled them all up and I, I don't want to burn the materials that I put into leveling these up. It probably would make sense just to clear them because I definitely need another copper forge. That's an absolute necessity. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm not 100% I'm not sure on, on the plan over here when I do, but yeah. Which league is my guild in? We are chilling in Silver 3. So we're in the highest league possible at the moment. Um, Silver 3. Obviously, you can't get promoted to gold at the moment. I don't know when that's going to come about. I assume when it does come up to gold, um, we'll hopefully manage to push up there because oh, we'll get a drum roll going. We just hit top 100 in the world you'll see international we are 98 we actually were 101 yesterday then we hit the 100 mark yesterday um so we're doing all right we're, we're up to uh rank 98 definitely pretty chuffed to get there but this team at the top you better watch yourself moo moo we're coming for you the wolves are after the cows we're coming for you but yeah I focused a lot on delivery and yeah, definitely delivery section is, is my advice for sure in the library. Um, I kind of wish I'd known that earlier. That's the thing. Like when I make these videos, um, when I make these videos on guides or top tips and stuff like, especially the five top tips video, I made it the first video. It's, it's a decent video, but looking back on it now, I'm like, man, I could have made a video with much better tips, or I wish I'd actually known the library advice I gave myself um, earlier in the game. Like, as a new player coming in, if I had myself as a YouTuber to watch, I'd be like, that's really helpful. But I just had to, I just had to ask, you know, like people in Moo Moo, like Mandy. Jesus, I had to ask Mandy for advice. <sighs> and Mandy's like, Kh. Look at this little, like, level 12 guy. Thinks he knows what he's doing. 
Hell nah. Um, but yeah, no, I appreciate all the guys in Moomoo's. I had Mandy, Al, Anoa as well. Um, Katz gave me some advice. Quite a lot of the guys and gals over in Moomoo gave me some really good advice early on which definitely helped me as a player, helped my guild, and then I could use that advice in my videos as well, which was uh, which was fun. Netin, how's it going, man? Jeez, Netin, you've been, you've been like supporting me since day one when I joined EYG. Crazy stuff, man. Good to see you. How many plantations would I recommend? Hmm. At the level I am, I would probably say I would probably say I would want to reduce my plantations by one. So with the current amount of expansions I've got, I would probably say five plantations would be a safe bet. Looking at some of the top players, the amount they've got, they don't, they, some of them have got the same as me. So let's just go happy families. Yeah, I, I was looking at their stuff the other day and I was like, I don't know. I just think, well, first of all, Looking at this layout actually hurts my eyes. It's it's so unorganized. Oh, it's so unorganized. But yeah, for example, Happy Family, which is the, the top player, has six plantations. And they've got quite a lot. Um, they've got quite a few more expansions than me. It looks like they've got one, two, three, four, five, six more expansions, seven more expansions than me. And they've got the same amount of plantations. So probably worth... Um, be deleting one, but I can't bring myself to to get rid of those materials. Thank you, Mandy. Oh, and the congratulations. Considering how fast feathers go in GC, you mean GT, would it be worth to sacrifice an ostrich farm for a copper foundry? Hmm. That's a good question. Ah. <sighs> I don't know, I, I like my ostrich farms because I like to, I like it when we're able to do like two or three feather projects back to back because you can pretty much instantly complete those. Um, I don't know, I'm, I'm tempted to clear maybe an ostrich farm, but again, I've upgraded them all. This is my lowest one at level two. Uh, I've got two at level three and then one at level four. But yeah, I'm not 100% sure like what the plan is. Hey Paco, how's it going man? Oh, for anyone who used to know Thunderwolves or saw my old videos or ever spied in our uh, our guild, Paco used to be co-leader and now if we look through the guild, can you guys see a Paco here? No Paco. Paco up and left us. Quit the game. <sighs> Unbelievable. Don't sacrifice any ostriches. Yeah, yeah, it's all good. I'm not gonna kill off any ostriches. We're, we're safe, we're safe. Have I missed any other questions? I don't think so. I think we're I think we're good. Level 47 challenge is to have three copper forges. What? Wait, is that a, Oh, but is that a quest you've set yourself, or is that an actual quest in the game to have three copper forges? Because I think. Two copper forges for me right now would be decent, but I don't think three. I think three would maybe just be a bit much because I'll be honest, my foundry would not be able to keep up with the demand. I'm already struggling. Um, I actually need to be level 41 for the next upgrade on this, and it's pretty heavy on resources. I maxed out my foundry as much as I can, but Damn, that next upgrade is heavy. Where are your ostrich farms? Hang on. Let me jump on over to this scene. And... Let me see, Paco, if I can find your account. Hang on. I'm sure I DM'd you at some point. I'll see if I can find it. Paco, Paco, Paco. Wait, what? Did you change your name, did you? Maybe change your name. Paco, I think I have deleted our chat. Or did, surely I didn't delete our chat. You're here somewhere, no? No, Paco, you're not here. I can't go in and check your island. Well, F, we'll jump back on over here. <clears throat> Damn, that is that is a nasty quest. Three copper forges. Although I guess you could just like store a building if you already had two. Oh. Hey yo, 
chat. Hey yo, we got DMs chat. We got DMs flooding in. Hey Blue Robot, how's it going man? Blue Robot, an OG from Everdale. Also, you played Rootland, right? You were in my you were in my clan, guild, whatever it was called. Gone and forgotten. Hey, we can never forget Paco. He's the man. Paco's the man. Or he was. And now he's just, I guess, a little boy. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, set it up and then store it. Yeah, definitely. Or just even build it. Get the quest. Complete it. Delete the Copper Forge. Yeah, Mandy, that's yeah, that's my thinking for sure. Definitely, uh, that's probably the best way. I just realised I'm meant to be grinding wheat. My bad, my bad to any of my teammates who are watching. I've been uh, I've been talking too much. We're not actually been grinding. So for those of you who want to see more live streams, it's definitely something I'm planning on trying to make a bit more of a routine of. I want to try and do two live streams a week. The thing is, I don't want to slow up on my videos either. And as someone who has a toddler and, oh, drum roll please, big announcement, is expecting his second baby in September. So that's some news um, for you guys who didn't know. I haven't publicly announced it, my guild already knew. Uh, but yeah, second uh, second baby is, is on the way, end of September which might put a bit of a, a stopper on my uh, YouTube videos and live streams, but I'm I'm trying to make the most of the time I've got at the moment. So like right now, Ollie uh, and my other half are away at um, her mum's house. So I've, that's why I've kind of got like the afternoon off as such, and I'm able to kind of stream at this time. But usually my streams would probably be when Ollie goes to bed, which would be, what time are we, five? So about two hours from now, he usually goes to bed about between seven and half seven UK time. Um, but yeah, yeah, all this stuff over here, exercise bike, yeah, that doesn't get used much. And then I've got a blanket over all the stuff, but this is basically all of Ollie's um, old clothes and stuff. It was all up in the attic, but we just got our attic um, re-insulated, which was an incredibly messy job. Um, but we had to pull everything out the attic for them to um, put the new insulating down. And the issue is they have now insulated over the, um, <laughs> the, the, the flat, the hatch to get in. So <laughs> we're waiting on them coming back out so we can actually get back into our attic. So that is why, if you guys have watched my videos, this massive pile of mess never used to be here, but it is there now, uh, which is really rather frustrating. And my next, <laughs> my next issue is this room, which is my stream room, um, is is going to be the the new baby room. So Ollie's going to be in the room, which is directly behind the camera and stuff. So in that room over there, this room here is going to be new baby's room. So yeah, my uh, my setup, I don't know. I've got a really nice setup. I spent a long time building this setup and I don't know what's going to happen to it. We also have all my uh, tanks. If you guys used to remember, I used to have like all my reptiles in the background. They're actually sitting over here now. You guys can't see them, but I've got them in like a rack system now, which looks really nice, but they're probably gonna have to go to a friend or something as well so yeah babies who'd have them but now nah, i'm excited i'm looking forward to it. it'll be good thank you for all the congratulations uh yeah i guess we'll just need to do some live streaming with the baby in the background or something he's waiting and streaming i am i'm trying to keep up with the old uh the old wheat production uh but kind of talking too much as usual rambling hey yo 23 gems Nice. <clears throat> yeah, blue. Going back to the what you said. Yeah, Ollie's really good. He's really good. He's he's getting close to kind of properly talking now. He says like mama, dada, car. He loves to say car. Um, what else does he say? Banana. He kind of goes banana. Um, yeah, there's loads of like random words he says. 
Um, but yeah, all, all is good. Causing chaos as always. It's it's nice to <laughs> to have a little bit of time off. Um, but no, he's he's good. What's just happened to my game? I, this sometimes happens. So I've noticed if I accidentally like click my rice rice my right um this thing on my mat like left and right at the same time it like freezes the game i then can't click on anything look i'm clicking but nothing's happening so we're just gonna need to restart hang on i'm just gonna restart this game you can't wait for the third big well i can tell you right now you're gonna be waiting a, a long time for that third baby <laughs> All right, let's jump back over here. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm not 100% sure what I want to do with my live streams. Um, I definitely want to do lots more of them, but the issue is this is not the best game to live stream, I'll be honest. Like, games that you can actively play, I, I can't, I'm not, I mean, you can actively play this. But it's a bit repetitive, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. So most of these streams that I'm going to run are be going to be like just chatting streams, talking to you guys about the Sunshine Island updates, talking to you guys about like what I'm doing, what you're going doing. Um, that's kind of my plan with the live streams, but we'll we'll see. Um, we'll see how they go. We we seem to have a few viewers in here, which is nice. I was kind of worried we'd have like nobody watching and I'd just be talking to to nobody. Would you like a girl or a boy? Good question. I would like a girl. I would like a girl, but I'll be also happy with a boy. Hey yo, who's this? Who this? This is Paco. Look at this noob, level 37. Let's see, has he, has he still got all his ostriches? Here they are. Look at them all sleeping. Man, this man has some ostriches. Ah, Paco. Oh, yeah. it takes me back. That's been happening to me this morning with the game. I had to clear the cache. Yeah, I, I don't know, Artemis. It's happened to me a good few times on my computer, but usually if I just restart the game, it seems to clear the issue up. But I don't know. I heard having a child is one of those things that gets more exciting as time goes on and the baby grows up as opposed to nearly everything. Yeah, definitely blue. I would say, I mean, when, when Ollie was a little baby, it's just, it's lovely. He's a little baby, yay. But he can, he can do much. He, he just, you know, drank milk. He, you know, did some poos. He did lots of sleeping, and that was it. He, and then, you know, a bit further down the line, he started to laugh and smile and do all that stuff. But babies at the start are kind of, they're just, they're cute and they smell a lot. But yeah, I totally agree. Um, but I agree to a point there, Blue. I feel like when Ollie is like getting into teenage years, then it might not be quite as fun. Because I know for a fact I was not the easiest teenager uh, for my parents. So I feel like, yeah, it gets gets more exciting, more goes on, and then suddenly it's like, oh man, I've got a really moody child. But yeah, we'll see. The, the thing that's uh, always really made me laugh with uh, Sunshine Island, um, and I, I wouldn't show you, but in my YouTube stats, when I was doing Clash of Clans content and I was doing, um, wait till he grows up and sees this, nah, I'll need, I'll need to delete the, the YouTube channel. Imagine your dad being a Sunshine Island YouTuber. The shame, the embarrassment. Um, but yeah, the, the average age on my um, YouTube channel used to be, I think it was between about 16 and it was like 28 or something like that. It was kind of like, the average age, hey, yo, your farming. People just know that if they DM me, it's gonna show up on the screen. But this guy that just DM'd me, you guys didn't see it because I'm on the face cam scene. But yeah, now the average age, I don't know if I should tell you guys what the average age is uh, for my videos, but all I'm gonna say is, since I started making Sunshine Island content, 
it has gone up significantly, which is not something I expected at all. Um, I did not expect it to go up that much. Um, I re see my microphone keeps peaking. I don't know why it keeps peaking. I'm just going to drop down the threshold a little bit. Hopefully that shouldn't have any real impact on my mic sound there, but hopefully it'll stop it peaking too much. Um, but yeah, the, it's, it's fair to say the average age has gone up quite a lot on my videos. Probably the main reason for pulling the average age up is going to be this guy called Oberon or Matt Fit. You might have seen him in the chat. He's probably pulling that average age up by pff, at least, oh God, I don't know. I, I don't know. At least 50 years probably. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I totally agree. Supercell Games... 100% appeal to younger audiences. I mean, of course, there is older people that play Supercell games. Probably like something like Heyday, I think. Hey. If I was to make videos on something like Heyday, I probably would imagine I'd get an older audience. Um, but it was weird. I expected, I expected Everdale to have a kind of similar age i guess to something like sunshine island but i found this game definitely has a, it's catering to an older audience which is it's been fun it's been really fun for me trying to change my videos or change the way i do it um not just to appeal here we go all the dms coming through not just to appeal to the older audience but to make myself like to speak more properly, to enunciate correctly, to show stuff in more detail, like to make the changes that hopefully make it so it's easier, I guess. I'm not, I'm, I feel like I'm just being really, oh God, I feel like I'm being really harsh, but I'm just trying to make everyone's life easy. Oh God, I'm getting all embarrassed now, hot and flustered. But no, it's great. And it's really, it's been fun, man. I have to say, older people, they grind. We, I tell you what, the, the older women we have in our guild, my God, can they grind wheat? <sighs> my my fingers just can't keep up with their fingers. Wow, that sounded uh, not the way I meant to say it. I need to stop talking and just do some serious wheating here. We just need to just need wheat. All right. I hope you would... <laughs> Hey, all, all the DMs coming through. I'm pretty sure I can actually turn. Hang on. How do I turn all my DMs off? Can I turn my DM? No, I don't think I can. <laughs> oh, well. <clears throat> there's older women than me in our guild. Uh, Matt, there's no way anyone is an older woman than you. You're definitely the oldest woman in our guild. I think Brawl Stars and Royale brought in... You just keep quiet. Okay, Lucky. I, uh, I'm I'm sorry. <clears throat> yeah. Um, Clash Royale, I think. Oh, I don't know what game would have the youngest audience. Probably Clash Royale. Clash of Clans definitely has some younger players playing, but I think people have kind of grown up with Clash of Clans. I know I have. So like, I feel like the audience is slightly older now, probably for Clash of Clans, but I think Clash Royale is maybe the youngest. You think Brawl Stars? The thing is, I'm not really, <laughs> I'm not really involved in the Brawl Stars community. I used to play the game, but that's about as much as I did. I never used to, you know, stream it, make videos on it. So I don't really know what the community's like. Um, Lucky is young, but I grind her. She's a grinder, that's for sure. I wonder who's top actually at the moment. Oh, it's the real grinder in our guild. Yeah, I don't know. I do, I do enjoy playing Brawl Stars, especially when I'm playing it. Like I used to play it with my girlfriend and a few of our friends. We used to like team up and play together. And it was fun, like especially jumping on voice chat and doing that stuff together. But ah, I don't know. Oh, my uh, my light just died. Well, you guys are just gonna need to deal with the the one light angle on my face. Yeah, I'm serious. I told you, got some serious lighting going on, but that just died. So I will need to go and charge that so I can record the next video at some point. 
What I think of Moco and Squad Busters. Hmm. Well, I have played both. I did play both when they were in alpha or beta or whatever they call them these days. Um, I'll start with Squad Busters because that's the game that's going to be coming out so soon. I think it's 23rd of April for soft launch. I preferred Moco to Squad Busters. Squad Busters was a good game, but it felt insanely repetitive and it felt like you had to get really lucky with the characters you unlocked. So for me, I don't know, it felt like it needed a lot more polishing than Moco did. Moco, I generally think they could have just released Moco as it was and they would have had a lot of people playing it. I thoroughly enjoyed it. It was really good. I can definitely see myself playing Moco and it's going to be an amazing game to live stream. Squad Busters, I think, needs a lot of work and I'm not sure if I could see it going global for Supercell. We have quite a lot of the older generation in Moomoo. Hey, I have to say, in a game like this, especially when it comes to the tournaments, being retired is a massive advantage. Imagine having, like, I have to obviously go to work every day and when I'm at work, I don't really play the game very much. But if I was retired, I would sit with my feet up, my pension would be rolling in, and you don't know, have eaten loads of biscuits. I don't know if that's what old people do. That's what I would do if I was old. Eat loads of biscuits, drink loads of milk. And then I would just, I would just grind. I would grind the, you know, hell out of this game. So yeah, hell yeah, older generation. Do you have a certain schedule for guild tasks? we do would i be interested in sharing well that depends if you have subscribed now is a good chance to subscribe if you haven't already hit that subscribe button forever a youtuber <laughs> but yeah um i don't know if i'm gonna share i was planning on doing an advanced guide to the guild tournament video um, but I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to do that. I'm potentially going to do it, but only have it for members on the channel. Um, but considering we only have four members right now, I'm not sure if it would really make that much sense to make a video like that only for the members. But yeah, we do have a schedule. Uh, we do have an order for our projects during the guild tournament week. But uh, for right now, I'm kind of holding back on releasing that publicly until I kind of decide the method in which I'm going to do that, whether it's going to be a guide video, whether it's just going to be random at some point. But yeah, I really love Moco 2. Really fun game. Never played Squad Busters. Yeah, Blue. Uh, yeah, Moco was a, was a brilliant game. Schedules are sacred. To be fair, Mandy, I would imagine if you checked our schedule, compared to your schedule. I, I don't think they would be that dissimilar. You obviously do a lot more like back-to-back -back projects than us, but okay, I can hear my dog scratching the door. I need to just go and let him out for a wee. I'll be back in like two minutes, uh, but you guys can jump onto this lovely taking a break scene that I prepared. I'll see you in a minute. Goodbye. Okay, it turns out, up oh, here he is. He just wanted to come and say hello. Here he is. This is Leo, for anyone who hasn't met Leo before. This is Leo. Everdale, I know Karn. Man, I miss Everdale. Everdale was a good game. It was a good game. Okay. Ugh. I'm excited to see what they actually eventually do with Everdale though. Wasn't that the same dog in your banner? Hey, Blue Robot has been has been keeping track. Yeah. Um yeah, I think I had Leo in one of my I think it was my Twitter banner, maybe. Yeah. I had him in there at some point. But yeah, that's Leo. He's a, he's a good dog when he wants to be. <laughs> when he when he wants something. Like right now I think he's probably wanting his dinner. 
so we'll need to go and give him that in a minute. But uh, I think we're we're getting there with the wheat grind. I don't think we've got as many people grinding. We did um, we set our new record for wheat last night. We did carrots and wheat in 26 minutes, which we were really happy with. Um, I don't know what your quickest is, Mandy. I imagine it's like insanely fast. But we were really happy with a 26 minute. Um, I'm monumentally rich in clans. Do you mean Clash of Clans? Due to Everdale? Yeah. I put all my gems from... Or all the money I put into Everdale. Obviously, you can transfer it to another Supercell game. And I put all mine into Clash of Clans. And my god, I felt... Um, I felt just insanely rich. Because all my gems went over there. I think I had like 100,000 gems or something. Absolutely insane. Um... Leo should be a Sunshine Island profile picture. Oh, I'm sure he would love that. I may be 50, but I'll get to level 50 before you age is good for some things. Yeah, Matt. Seems to be. Can you show us your ship and click that alert away? Do you know what, Laurie? I'm just going to leave it. Just because I know there's so many people that that would really annoy. And I know the fact that I'm not claiming all of my resources is also really annoying people. But sometimes, ah, it just, it's, it's the small pleasures in life. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I will, uh, here it is. This is my ship. I'm not going to complete it because I don't have enough. Well, I do actually have enough copper sheets, but I don't want to waste any on that ship. I had like 90k gems. Yeah, I, yeah, I put a lot of uh, money into Everdale. Which is funny because I actually haven't put that much money yet into Sunshine Island. Which I was thinking about the other day. Everdale, I could tell it was a game that if it went global, I would be so into. So I put a lot of money into the game. But for some reason, Sunshine Island, I've pff, I've really not put that much money in. But I feel like I'm still progressing at a really good rate. I don't like... There's all these packs and all this stuff, but I don't really care for them. In my opinion, like... The, if, just not worth it. I think you can get better stuff. Sometimes you just gotta save them for projects. That's true. But stuff like milk. I mean, I can probably grab milk because that's every five minutes. Bread every ten minutes. Do you know what I mean? Stuff like that. I'll always hold my pine wood. Um, be just over five minutes. Seven minutes for a carrot. That's absolutely insane. That's just craziness. The fact that you can complete a carrot that quickly. I mean, we had, I think we had, I don't know how many members on last night. We had a good few members on last night and we were insanely happy to complete it in 26 minutes. Um, I don't, I don't know if we could do it any faster. I mean, if we had obviously had all 25 members on, then maybe, but I, I don't think that's ever going to happen. I don't think we've ever had more than... 15 members on at once? I don't know. <clears throat> Everdale was such a high tier and polished game. I don't know. I don't know about polished blue. I think... I mean, the graphics were phenomenal. But I don't know... Um, I don't know if it was polished. Because I think it had a lot of work to be done. And the, the main thing that really got me was... The developers and the the community manager, the team, they didn't listen to the community. I mean, I made so many videos on the game asking for specific stuff, like basic stuff, like the ability to add friends, like to have a good profile page, like stuff like that. And yeah, they didn't listen. They did pretty minor updates. I can't say anything was very major. And I just, yeah, I don't know. It's possible to do it in one minute, 40 seconds. I don't believe you. There is, unless everyone use, uses, everyone claims their carrots, you've got everyone ready to do instant wheat, I don't think it's possible. I don't, I, I need video evidence of that, please. Yeah, to be honest, I'm not really too bothered about ships. Um, I only really ever actually complete ships during the player tournament. During the rest of the week, I do complete planes because I've actually upgraded some of them in my marketplace. And I do try and stay on top of my um, market uh, my marketplace 
but right now I'm only just doing ones that are giving me hammers. I'm just refreshing the rest. Do the maths. I'm not doing the maths. If you if you've ever watched my videos or if you followed me for any length of time, you'll know that maths is is not my strongest pursuit. <laughs> I really suck at maths. All right, let's just grab all of these wheats. <clears throat> Olin, you have to tell your secret for having so many coins, 47k. Okay, here is my number one method of getting coins in Sunshine Island. This is probably going to be a YouTube video at some point, but you guys can get the inside scoop. So, if we come on over to the warehouse and we scroll down, there is this little thing called goat feed. And it is lovely because it gives quite a lot of gold. So you see I've got about 7 million gold sitting here in goat feed. Um, I'm never going to use 404 goat feed. So I just sell this as and when I need gold. But I don't really spend that much gold. Uh, I keep saying gold. Coins. I don't really spend that much coins. Um, I mean, yeah. <clears throat> Does guild need to be level 23 for that project you're doing? Uh, let me check. I can check the wiki, which we are still working on. Um, in fact, I don't think it's the wiki. I think it's our spreadsheet that we've got set up. Hang on. Let's see. I think it's here. So to unlock delicious vegetables, yes, you need to be level. Tw you need to have your guild at level twenty-three, and then for the final one, which is a pile of wood here, you need to have your guild up to level twenty-eight. Okay. I still vividly remember waking up on October 3rd and seeing your YouTube notification about Everdale's death. That was the hardest video to make because Nick, the community manager, he told me, I think it was four days before it officially got announced that it was being killed, which gave me time to record a video. And man, those three, four days were killer because everyone was still so positive about the game. Everyone was going, it's going to go global. We're going to get a big update. And and I knew for those four days that the game was going to be killed and it was heartbreaking. I mean, if, for anyone who watched my Everdale is Ending video, I was really emotional because it was a game I felt so connected to, especially because I was one of the very few content creators making content on the game. It was such an emotional burden. Like, I was also really emotional because we... we Ollie was, I don't know, like a few weeks old. Um, and it was like, yeah, hormones and all that stuff. I mean, I'm not a female, but I also get, yes. But that was a killer. It was a killer. And I was, I definitely had a, a few tears in my eye that day because it was, uh, it was a tough one. And that's why I said the next game I'm going to really get into is going to be a game that's already global. It's already a game that's out because I don't think I could go through that heartbreak again. And then Sunshine Island came around and I've thoroughly enjoyed it. The main the main point for me with Sunshine Island is the guild. That's what's keeping me playing. The guild tournaments, meeting new people, playing with other people um, is is definitely the, the best the best thing in this game, I think. Although fishing's coming next week. Fishing could be better, but yeah, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. Our quickest was done right at the end of the last guild tournament. So most of us had interviews in here. Yeah. Okay, Mandy, I kind of get that. But still, doing it in seven minutes is insane. Hey, Core. How's it going, man? I'm doing that now. I never knew the goat trick for coins. Yeah. So basically, I do... I always do goat feed overnight and I usually do one goat feed during the day. Then the rest of the time I'll do cow feed. I'll occasionally throw a ostrich feed in there, but I, I don't really find I really need that many ostrich. Um, it would be great if there were hotkeys for playing Sunshine Island on desktop. I'm not really sure what you mean. What do you mean hotkeys? Hang on. 
I need to organize. I've just looked at my chat and Callum, who I bet is watching the stream, says I'm not watching his stream until I'm a moderator. Well, I can tell you, I've not got any moderators at the moment. So all hell could break loose in the chat and we'd just be, we'd just be screwed. Um, what project are we running next? <clears throat> Am I going to play Squad Busters? I am going to play Squad Busters, but I'm probably not going to stream it or make videos on it. Unless I really get into the game. For navigating to other islands, planting. Yeah, I guess hotkeys could be nice. Um, I definitely get fed up of the constant clicking. That kind of kills, kills me. Um, like when I'm grinding. Someone has to start a bun is fun. Mm, that's an hour 35 away, so... Oh, I can probably hop back on over here. Let's go for a pine. We should have enough for pine. When did we do our last CC? Am I blind? When did we do our last coffee is grounded? Here, 456. 556. Okay, so we probably don't have enough for... CC, but we should have enough for a pine. I'm interested. If I click this, can you guys see this video? Can you hear that? Wait. I'm currently watching a video on Sunshine Island, but I'm looking at my screen that you guys can see, and you guys can't see the video. That's really interesting. I wonder why it doesn't show up. Rank guild. We are rank silver three. We're in the highest rank for the guilds because gold league is not yet open. But once gold league is open, hopefully we would be able to get there. So I'm still watching this advert, by the way. I've got cradle of empires and we're back onto the game now. Look at me, still grinding out wheat, even though we have finished the wheat project. Uh, I guess we can probably just go ahead and queue up some corn, or in fact, now nah, I'm gonna stockpile a few daisies while we're waiting. We'll probably do pine with a milk filler before we jump into, because cornbread will be, Yeah, corn will be our next one, but let's just chuck in a milk filler. Maybe we can race again sometimes between our guilds. We've been in the same bracket once before. Wait, what guild are you in? Queden? Quiden? Quiden? What guild are you in? We've came up against some pretty t insanely good guilds. Um, but yeah. What game? This is Sunshine Island, if that's what you're asking. If you're talking about the game, um, if I'm gonna stream it, the Squad Busters we were also talking about, I, I don't know. Oh, not me revealing how we do projects. All right, <clears throat> I think I might call it a day there for the stream because I need to go and eat something um, because I'm getting pretty hungry, but yeah, I think probably gonna call it a day there. Not us yet. No, Mandy, we've managed to avoid you, but we have a technique for avoiding Moo Moo, but I'm not gonna reveal that technique. But we have managed to avoid you so far. Ah, Holland's dream team. Yeah, they, Holland's dream team, full of noobs, I heard. Second place, Psh, Mandy, look at these guys. Second place. I've actually been following that's really close because there was a period of time when Holland's Dream Team were gaining more XP every day than Moo Moo Maniacs because they closed the gap below 1 million XP. But I think Moo Moo took this personally and you'll see they're now 
one, two million ahead, something like that. So yeah, the, Moo Moo's obviously gone. We are not losing our number one spot and they are now grinding super, super hard and Holland's dream team have kind of fallen back. But Holland's dream team are insanely good when it comes to the guild tournaments. I have to give it, I have to give them credit. These guys definitely get the highest points out of any team every single guild tournament. But we have faced, what teams have we faced? We faced Holland's Dream Team, Kata we faced, Binds Enzo we faced, Mizar we faced, Veda we faced, Capri we faced. I think that's it. Toppers in concert, I think we faced. Uh, but yeah, we've faced quite a lot of the top teams, but we haven't faced Mumu yet. But yes, I am going to call it a day for the stream. Uh, I really do appreciate everyone tuning in. It's actually been really fun. I was pretty nervous how this stream was going to go because it's been a long time since I have live streamed. I probably got a bit embarrassed at some point. I probably said too much, probably revealed too much about the guild. But hey, I had a really good time and I really appreciate everyone for, uh, for jumping in and tuning in. Like I said earlier, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, I'm definitely going to be doing a lot more of these streams. So if you want to support me even more, you can become a member. Uh, that will give you access to my emotes. Uh, you'll also get the badge next to your name. Uh, you'll get early access to all my videos, all that kind of stuff. But yeah, really appreciate everyone who's, who's tuned in. I'm planning on doing at least one, if not two streams every single week. I'll probably, if you're on my Discord server, I'll have it in, as an event over there. So you'll be able to see when I'm going to stream. I'll also try and schedule them on my YouTube channel so you can check in. Um, you can check in for that. But yeah. Thanks everyone for tuning in, I guess. It's definitely been fun. And uh, what day are we today? We're Wednesday. Probably we'll have another video out at the weekend. And then obviously next Monday, I think, is when we're going to get the fishing update. So... Yeah, I'm definitely looking forward. I'll definitely live stream the fishing. Um, but yeah, thank you everyone for watching. And I'll see you in the next video or the next stream. Good luck in the guild tournament. Bye bye.